Hi everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be starting my new map series for Farming Simulator 2015 and I have chosen Cobra Farm 2015 with kind permission from Bullet Bill 1983. So this one is 300 acres of Herefordshire farmland. Enjoy both arable, livestock and forestry on this beautiful rolling countryside. So it's definitely an English map. So if that's what you're looking for, then hopefully you're going to enjoy this series. So here we are in game and as you can see we've already started off with this new Holland and we've also got a new Holland Combine in there as well. If we open the map up you can see it's been really well done and it even names your fields and also tells you where everything is on the map which is great because this makes playing a lot easier and a lot more interesting. Um, so we've got 18 fields so plenty to choose from and these are obviously all in the rolling countryside which is fantastic. I've always been looking for a good English map and I'm hoping this is going to be the one. Um, obviously we've got two farms, we've got Cobra Farm and Chantry Farm. Um, one of them being arable, one of them being livestock. So I think probably the best thing to do is actually go for a drive around the farm, see what it's got to offer and just double check we know where everything is before I properly start farming on this map. Because something I always lack is sense of direction when farming so I really want to know where every single field is, where every single selling point is and of course where to refuel our tractors when we need to. So this is of course, this is our grass field and it's very lush grass which is really nice. I can't wait to get the mower going on this. Um, it would be great to do some hay. And of course these are much smaller tighter fields which are all uniquely shaped which is something I really look for in a map. Um, I don't really like great big open spaces uh, which you can just literally set your worker off and it will finish in about three hours. It's nice to have um, lots of different fields um, with trees in the middle which you have to negotiate when harvesting and of course these little gates and hedges which divide each field. So very impressed so far, really like this and of course lots of trees which is very fitting with Herefordshire. So here we are driving along the road and the first thing which comes to mind is we're actually driving on the correct side for the UK which is really good. It's nice to see that a lot of work has been put into that making sure that the AI is on the correct side of the road. So again plenty of open fields here for doing silaging and haymaking for our livestock which is something I really want to get into on this map. I think it's going to be fantastic. Um, of course we can do some road verge cutting as well seems to be a fair bit to do and of course forestry which I am really looking forward to so there's plenty of stuff available to do on this map which is one of the main reasons why I actually contacted the author of this um, to ask if I could actually do the let's play for it because it was just so appealing um, the first time I saw it was for um, Farming Simulator 2013 and immediately just looking at a few screenshots just made me want to do it uh, I just didn't want to go back to Farming Simulator 2013, I'd rather do it for FS15. Coming up in front of us we've got the road signs which have really been well done. Crystal clear and of course it even tells you the road names and which direction to go. So that's fantastic, really like that. So there seems to be plenty of cereals to harvest in this map. Um, not so much in the way of sugar beet, not so much of that, it's mainly uh, cereals. And of course, we've got canola over there. But they're all really unique fields you can see from the PDA. Um, the different shapes and sizes you've got there, which is brilliant. Obviously, it's always nice to have larger fields as well as smaller ones. But I personally like the small ones. I find them really interesting. So let's head down to the southern point on the map and see what it's got to offer down there. It looks like the biomass is down there and possibly the vehicle buying point as well. So let's go and see what there is. Right, looks like it's a class dealership along with Massey Ferguson, Deutz Far, Case, Grimmy, Amazon and Crone. Plenty of different dealers here. I've got one on display. Looks like we can refuel here as well, which is nice. Uh, of course we can buy our new equipment from here and there's even some equipment in the showroom which is really nice so yeah um, very good 
at least I know where to buy my new machinery. Right, so this is obviously where we buy our tree saplings and also sell our wood, along with other things as well. Really nice, and it even tells us where to sell things. This is where we sell our wool, and we sell our wood just back there. And here's the bioenergy as well. So we've got everything we need. Looks like I have seen a fair bit of the map now, and I'm really impressed. Can't wait to get into farming on this map. I think it's going to be a bit longer than 10 parts this Let's Play, judging by the way it's looking. Absolutely loving it. Um, not sure how long I will be farming it for, but it's quite a large map and I would like to farm all of it. So it could even be, um, I don't know, it could be over a month that I'm playing this map. But hopefully you're liking it as much as I am. Clearly a lot of work has been put into it. I know that a lot of work is put into maps and it does take a very, very long time. Now I know with these big highly detailed maps that a lot of work is put into it and it really is a lot of hours. There is so much time fiddling around with things, making sure it's all perfect, making sure there's nothing floating in the air uh, and of course there's all the testing as well. So yeah, I can tell just by loading this map up straight away there has been a lot of energy and work put into it. So I'm really impressed with it, and I think without further ado, we should start farming. So here we are back at Colbra Farm, let's go and get some equipment and start farming the land. I think the best thing to do is begin by harvesting a field, probably a small one to begin with, um, and then we can get that ploughed or whatever, and I'm really wanting to put some sugar beet in, I think that would be really interesting. I haven't actually done any sugar beeting on my videos, um, so I'm really looking to do some sugar beet and also potatoes. I think that'd be good as well. So here's our baler. We know where to get our baler then when we're doing our hay and straw. That could well be the straw selling point in there, not sure. Oh, a nice tight yard. Look at this. Ah, oh, look at that. It, this is where you tip your grain and no doubt you also use a loader to scoop that up into a trailer. Got a seed over there, our drill and our cultivator. Oh, I really like the layout of this. Very English. There's the farmhouse of course. Diesel, spreader and our plough and there's our combine. Mixed in with a workshop by the looks of things. And our pressure washer, you can't do without our pressure washer. Just by driving around this map we need to clean our tractor. And there's our fertiliser tanks as well. So, yeah, absolutely loving it. I just need to go and find a trailer. So I just loaded up the map views and I've just noticed that there is some sugar beet in there, which is great. Really want to get cracking with that. Um, along with the wheat, barley, canola, corn. Might be some potatoes in there and of course plenty of grass. So plenty of crop types on offer there um, but I'm definitely going to start with some cereal work first probably this field here as it's the closest one to me quite a large one looking at things so we might not finish it today but I definitely want to get cracking on it so yeah, let's just see if we've got a trailer um, where are we not here here we go we have got plenty of other tractors about. They're probably at the other farm. Combine, plough, spreader. There's our tractor. The case, I think that was at the dealership, wasn't it? That could have been ours. I can't see a trailer. Uh, I may be wrong. Yeah, that's our other tractor. We must have just bought that one. Uh, but I can't see a trailer. There could be one, I may just be being blind. But this must be our livestock farm. By the look of things, where are we? Yep. This must be our chantry farm. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the dealership, go and pick up a trailer. Hopefully I can afford one. And then we can get cracking, doing a spot of harvesting at our other farm, Cobra Farm and do some wheat. 
Right, I did just have to sell a couple of cows because I could not afford the small trailer here. But now we've sold that, we can choose a colour. Uh, it's going to be towed by a case. Um, I think we're going to make a new colour. Um, probably orange, because I've never done that colour before. And I want it to stick out like a sore thumb. So here it is. <laughs> we've got our orange trailer. I like the way you can customise your colours for your trailer. I think that's good. Instead of just using the same green one that you start off with. Um, quite a big, a small trailer for a big tractor. But it's all we can own at the moment. We just cannot afford it. So, yeah, let's head over to that field. Get that combine rolling. And get some money coming in. Because I want to upgrade my trailers. Now, I did have a request to stay in first person more for the next map. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and drive as much as I can in first person. Some stuff obviously looks better in third person. Um, but I think driving along the road is fine in this view. So that's what I'm going to do. The majority of the road work I'll try and keep inside the cab. Just for realism reasons. Um, but I think I'm getting the hang of the layout of this map. I haven't been on it too much. Um, but once you get used to it, it's usually okay. I do get lost a few times though. Right, here we are. And our field is just one just here. Better not crash into the tree. Um, obviously it's quite narrow, so I might not be able to even bring the tractor down here yet. I'll put it here. Let's go and get that combine. Right, so it's not a very big combine, but that's good because um, a huge combine wouldn't even fit on this map, I don't think. Let's just lift the header up. Um, it's a good size combine, obviously because of the narrow gates. Probably is possible to use a bigger one, but it means faffing about with the header trailer. This one's just right, really. Right, I need to unfold it first, of course. Yes, I do. Um, and yeah, let's just do a headland first. Let's get cracking. Now, I think actually I'm going to bale this one. Haven't done much straw baling for a while. So that's okay, it's on the right setting there. Good. Right, let's go. Oh, I need to also change my speedometer to miles per hour. I don't really work in kilometers per hour. So I'm going to have to change that. I said I was going to do that a few videos back. Completely forgot. And I want my time to be in real time. Because I don't really like doing it at night. You don't really get to see much. Um, but yeah, this is actually a very large field. Um, but it will definitely keep us busy for a while. Now if I can get the worker to go, I don't really like using the workers to be honest, especially as they cost so much, when I've only got 956 euros, I need to change that to pounds. Um, I don't really like to do it, but I also want to crack on and do bailing, and I also need to drive the tractor and trailer, so I can't really do everything. And at some point I'm also going to try out course play, so plenty to be getting on with, but I do want to take the headlands off first before I get a worker going just so it's got enough space to turn around don't really want it to be driving through hedges uh, but yeah big field probably one of the largest let me check uh, not the biggest I don't think 16 looks quite big um, but yeah definitely on the larger side of things definitely do want to do some smaller fields too but yeah Absolutely love this map. Fantastic. I don't can't even imagine myself changing maps now actually. That's how much I like it. I've been looking for a really nice English map and I think I found it. Um but yeah. Let's um take the headland off and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so combine's full. 
it's way over the other side of the field so I'm gonna have to drive all the way around to get to it uh, but once it's on a worker this shouldn't be too much of an issue it's over there look so yeah once that's working I can always keep up with it There we go. Right, so that's working well. Now that has almost actually filled that trailer. It's only got about 25% capacity remaining. Luckily, because we're so close to the farm, I have not got far to take it, to empty it. So that's good. One of the main reasons I started off with the closest field, because I don't want to be carting too far with such a small trailer. But I think when this is all harvested and obviously drilled again, um, I want to put probably potatoes in it. I know it's quite a big field for potatoes, but if I've only got one, then I can keep all the other fields as a cereal crop or maybe sugar beet. Almost done one full circuit now. And you can actually see my grain tank capacity filling up on the inside there. I've never noticed that digital display before. Well, not for the uh, tank capacity anyway. I like that. Can't remember it, this one's capacity, but it's, um, I think it's about 5,000, I'm not too sure. But once this is full, oh, look at that. I have not spent enough time inside the combine before. You can actually see it filling up the window. That just shows what a long way this game has come in just a few years. It's fantastic. I really should have noticed that kind of thing before now. Right, so we've taken one headland off. Uh, probably need to do it again. But I was going to set it off on a worker. Because I desperately need to be driving that tractor to be able to keep up with it. So... Uh, best thing to do is probably to head down the other end and then get a worker going on it down there. Right. I'm going to set it off here then and uh, go and get that trailer because that's going to need emptying in a minute. Now I don't know how full this combine is but I'm going to empty it anyway because we do not have much capacity left in the trailer. Um, it's gone a bit skew with. It should sort itself out in a second. But once this is filled the trailer, whoop, then I'm going to empty it and we'll continue tomorrow. Right, that's full. Probably should have let the combine go first. But anyway, yeah, let's head back to the yard, go and empty it in the selling point for this crop and then we can continue tomorrow and I might set up course play see if it will work I'm not entirely sure if it will because it looks to me like we have to reverse into that shed to empty this trailer um, but I'll have a look into it and if I can get it to work then I'll get the baler going as well but for now let's just go and empty this and call it a day I think Right, okay. So just gotta remember which one this is. I might have to actually turn around first.
And we'll just bring up that interface again. It's barley. So we'll reverse it into here and empty it. Probably should be inside actually. Okay. It seems to be side tipping. It does actually um, tip backwards too, this trailer, so I'm surprised it's tipped that way. But our heap of grain has increased. So we'll be able to sell that at some point. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this map so far. I've absolutely loved it. Um, and you can join me again tomorrow in part two of the Cobra Farm and of course Chantry Farm map. Um, in Herefordshire, UK. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.